I got a weird noise. It's got a weird noise. Got a wear noise. Okay, so this front panel has these two screws here. You have to take off. And there's hooks here. Hook up here. And then these screws come off. And then we can take that front cowl out. And it's probably gonna be probably gonna be a problem with the skids. This video is for informational purposes only. If in doubt, contact a professional. Contact your local professional if you need someone to help you. Or I give phone advice for a fee. Okay, so I was unplugged first. I was unplugged first. Always. Unplug first. Okay, so you got that front panel off and it has good skids. So the skids, which are these things here, are good. These are Teflon skids, basically the barrel front of the barrel skids on these Teflon skids. And they both look good. And so these are good. So we can disconnect the battery or the uh, the belt. Uh, I once again make sure it's unplugged. You can reach in here and disconnect the belt, and then you'll have to loosen these screws on top in order to get your you some room to pull this barrel out. Uh, Speed Queens have these nuts here. You have to loose to take the barrel out. Some of them you don't have to. You don't have to take the barrel. You don't have to loosen the screws. So here, check rollers. Rollers are all good. This is this is a little bit tight there. Motor seems good. A little bit of lint built up in here. On dryers with larger commercial fans, it's important to keep these this lint. Uh, out of here keep that lint built up if it builds up on one side of the fan blade it may cause it to hum or act like it's out of balance that motor feels a little bit tight but it's usable okay so we're going to take and move these rollers the heck of it and if you're interested, I sell my special brew of high efficiency lube. You can contact me and you can get some if, you if you'd like. I just put a drop of oil on these rolling parts. This, this one here tends to get dry because it's right over that heat tube. And so, don't see any rough edges on this barrel. So this looks good. We got a little mystery sound on this one.
Not sure where that sound's coming from. Okay, so when you're putting the belt on, make sure that that belt does not go inside one of these indentations. These indentations here on the drum. Make sure that it doesn't hit that back indentation. So it's it won't turn the barrel if it's in that indentation on the drum. So make sure the belt is in there on the idler properly and lined up on the barrel where the skid mark was where the uh, whatever the tracks were on the drum from the use of the previous belt okay I left the door switch connected you gotta be careful if you do that leave that connected got it all back together We'll give it a try. It's quieter now. Check down here. Fire and hold. Seems to be good now.